afternoon divas I'm going to show you a cute way that if you do not want to make the uh, paper pumpkin this month which I think is just adorable in itself with the little pinwheels um, with the little gift um, I don't know what you call it gift bags uh, treat bags it has comes with the treat bags it comes with uh, the straws everything you need to make this cute little package of pinwheels with treats or the straws for a centerpiece. But um, I wanted to make some little favor boxes this month for my stamping class and I didn't have any red, white, and blue paper and I wanted it to be for the 4th of July. This kit is great. It comes with the um, little tags already fishtailed at the ends. It comes with the pinwheel paper already cut and ready to make into a pinwheel. It comes with straws, a little uh, Knight of Navy ink pad for you to stamp with, some polymer stamps that say celebrate and one that has stars on it and some little brads and some of these little cutesy paper clip things but I'm going to use it as an alternative today to make a little gift box so I'll just lay that aside for now and what I'm going to do is Nikki Spencer who has the um, has a blog she on her blog she has um, how to make these little treat boxes using uh, a milk carton type design and your tag punch. So what I've done is I've cut two inch strip, which is two inches by 10 inches, and I've scored it at two, four, six, eight. And I'm gonna take that and we'll stick it in my punch all the way up as far as it'll go, and punch each end. Okay, that's all there is to that part. And then on this part, this is two and a half inches by 10, scored at two, four, six, eight, and then scored each side at a quarter inch. Then you're gonna trim away uh, each one of these sections. So you'll just have flaps on just this, these two parts right here. No flaps here or here. And if you notice, I kind of trim a little bit in on my flaps. Um, Nikki doesn't say to do that, but I do it, it kind of makes it look a little bit neater. And you're going to go ahead and reinforce those folds. And you're going to use a little score pal tape or you can use glue, whichever you want to use, to put the box together. But I want to go ahead and decorate the box because it's easier to decorate it while the pieces are flat. Now this is your bottom here and here. So it has no decoration on it. So the decorations are gonna be on these four sides right here. And what I made by using the paper that came with the kit, since it comes like this, all I did, because uh, Stampin' Up! does not have any beautiful red, white, and blue paper or paper with stars. It's just very disappointing that they never have any designer series paper that's patriotic. And right now, with the way times are in the world, I'm, I'm feeling very patriotic toward loving the United States. And so I would really wish they would come out with some sort of paper pack that's just for patriotic scrapbooking. But we got this little papers here. Well, that's not conducive to what I wanted to use it for. So I took it, and if you'll just cut up on up to the center, it has a little hole right here that the brad's supposed to go through to make the pinwheel. So if you'll just go ahead and cut out the piece, you'll have these triangles. So you'll need two pieces of your pinwheel paper, and you're gonna take those two triangles and just lay it, on, lay it down flat, put the centers together, put a little piece of typing paper or something that's really thin paper with some snail on it, and glue the two pieces together. So what I've taken is this piece here, and I've glued the two pieces together like that, okay? So now I have a square that's three and a quarter inch square. Well, that's too big for my little bitty box that I want to go here. So I took the pieces and I trimmed them down. You trim it down to two and a half first, and then turn it 90 degrees and trim it at two and a half again. Then turn it 90 degrees and trim it at one and three quarter. Turn it 90 degrees and trim it at one and three quarter you'll end up with this nice little one and three quarter inch squares, just like that, okay? Now, these colors that are in the kit are Knight of Navy and uh, Stampin' Up's red, uh, real red. So I've cut some squares that are one and seven eighths inch each. 
Then I'm going to mount my little one and three quarter inch squares too. And once again, I'm just going to use some snail to stick these down. You could use your glue pen. You could use your new uh, tape from Stampin' Up, which sticks wonderfully, but it also sticks a little bit too good and I haven't mastered the art of using it yet and I can't do it standing up and I'm standing up to do this video. So we're just going to use snail today. You can use your favorite adhesive and I'm just going to mount each one of these. You see I wrote my measurements on the back of that one <laughs> as to where it laid on the trimmer to trim. Now you can trim it however you want to, but you need to trim it so that you don't have the little, where you've glued it together, you won't have this little circle, or right here there's some little holes. You wanna make sure you get all those little holes off. So I just decided to trim it the way I did in order to get it right in the center of my square that I had created. But please save your little strip that you cut off, your three quarter inch strips, because we're gonna use those also. Okay, and just stick that down. So now we got our four sides stuck. I'm going to go ahead and glue my box together in the little crossways section. And I'm just going to use a glue pen. And I want the part with the flaps to be the inside of the box. So I'm just going to put some glue on there. And then lay this down on it, lining it all up so that my lines all match. Okay, that'll be drying. And now I can put some snail on the back of these squares and go ahead and put them down. Now you can do them all geometrically the same, go in the same direction if you want to. You can make the two sides opposite like this. Uh, I'm just gonna glue them around in the same direction so that they'll look like when the box is folded up, you'll have a little bit better design. So I'm going to put my, I've got my blue going like this, so my blue would go like this, if that makes any sense. So it'll go up in the corner like so. Of course you can do it however you want to, that's artistic freedom to create it any way that you want. I'm just trying to give you an alternative to making the pumper, paper pumpkin kit as it was originally designed for you to make it. It always is quite a challenge to just come up with something different. Uh, the paper pumpkin kits are getting cuter and cuter. Um, when they first came out, they, um, they need a little work in my opinion, but they're getting better and better each time. Now I've used my new dies from Stampin' Up. I used the hearts and the stars. And I'm gonna put a star on each one of these. Now remember, your box is going to stand up like this, so you know the bottom of your stars will go toward the bottom of the box. And I'm thinking, looking at this, maybe I would like for them to be maybe up on a dimensional. Yes, I do. So what I'm going to do, I've cut out some letters also using the new uh, little letters dies from Stampin' Up. They're cute as they can be. They're little letters like this. And um, you, if you're using thick paper, I use some uh, of the Naturals White. You might have to run, you know, run it through and then back it back up to make sure you get a nice good cut. And I'm just going to glue these little letters onto the stars. So let's see. If I start here with red, then I want this one to be blue. So the A would be on a blue. I'll glue the A letters to the stars. So that'll be that. And it would go on this side. And then the S would be opposite of the heart. And I'm just using a glue pen for this because it's a little bit easier. Um, sometimes it's hard to pick up something once you get the glue on it, but I'm just going to lay it on it like that and see how close I got. Oh, pretty close. Okay. That would go on this side. And then another blue one with the U on it. I 
Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these little glue pens, but they're readily available in uh, most markets, um, even um, somewhere like um, Amazon or something, you can find them. There's a variety of brands. The Zigs are not always the easiest to find, which is what I'm using today, but there are other brands that have glue pens, ballpoint glue pens. Okay, so there's my U on that one. Now, I want to pop those up on dimensionals. Uh, Stampin' Up! does not give you dimensionals in this little kit, so that's one thing you may need. And of course, you won't get the blue and red cardstock either, so if you want to do it as I've done it, you will need some Knight of Navy cardstock and some real red cardstock, and you will need the dies from Stampin' Up! Stars and Hearts, which I recommend everybody have. It's a great set. Uh, you. They work great with the magnetic platform, which I just dearly love. I don't know how we ever dealt, lived without it before. It's like uh, having cable TV with a DVR. I don't know how we lived without it before we had such a thing. Okay. So there are my sides decorated. Now you could add some more bling. Maybe put a little, I uh, probably put a little rhinestone up in the corner here. So that's my pieces all put together. Now I want to put some uh, heavy duty either glue here or uh, something like score pal tape or sticky strip. I'm just going to use my Tombow since that's what I've got in my hand and I don't want to go get the other. A little on each side here. All right. Flip it over. I'm just going to hold those in. Make sure I don't have any glue on my fingers. And just take your box and glue it together. These measurements come out pretty exact. I haven't had any trouble yet with it not all matching up with uh, Nikki's measurements. Thank you, Nikki Spencer, for the pattern idea. Always a, another way to use a punch, you know, besides what it was designed for. Okay. You might want to use something like sticky strip or score valve tape so you don't have to hold it together till it dries. It dries pretty quick, but uh oh. I put the A on upside down. Naturally. I always have to have one thing one side messed up. Okay, so there's my sides glued together. Okay. If you do use something like Tombow, it does give you a chance to kind of fix a little corner mistake there if you don't have it quite lined up right. And of course, I've got to peel this A off since I put it on upside. Making a video upside down can be challenging. Okay, so that'll just cover up that little mistake right there. Get my finger in there so I can press that down. See how much easier it is to glue those sides on before you start putting it together. Then you can put your treats in. Um, I'm going to put in some red, white, and blue M&Ms. And then you just fold your little flaps over. And what I've decided is these little flaps need to be maybe rounded. You could use your new corner rounder. It makes them kind of go down easier. I'm just going to use my scissors for now. And just press those in, press that over, and then this comes up like so. So there's your two little holes. Now, in your handy dandy kit, they have given you um, the little clips. I've taken some of my scrap from where I trimmed off to make my squares. I've got these little scraps, and I'm just going to fishtail them like that. And I want that to go kind of right here on the side. And they've given you some twine, which I'm going to take a little piece of. It's um, not really blue. It looked blue in the picture, but it, it's not quite blue. And I'm going to make a bow. Because I'm going to use some red ribbon that came out of another Stamping Up Christmas kit from several years ago 
But there's all, you always have leftover ribbon year to year. I do. If you're a ribbon holic like me, you, you always have plenty of ribbon left. And I kind of want this to go toward my little heart that's on the front. This will be the front of my box where it says I heart. And I'm going to start my knot like that, but I'm going to stick my bow in there. Oh, I'm going to have to hold it different to, so you can see. Okay, like that. So that it's underneath. It's going to be caught in the knot of the bow. And I'm just going to tie a knot because I might want to tie a bow because that might be too hard for the people to get undone to get their treat out. Turn my ribbon off. Okay. Now that's just cute as a button just like it is. But I'm going to add a little sentiment along with these little um, tags here. And I'm just going to use one of the tags that they have furnished. And I'm going to use the Knight of Navy ink pad that they furnished and the little stamp that says celebrate. And I'm just going to ink that up. I really do miss stamping spots. Um, ever since they went away last year, I have, every time they ask us for recommendations or I take a survey, I always say, please bring back the stamping spots because they're great for classes, etc. So we're just going to stamp that on this little piece of flag toward one end, like that. Okay. And of course, these are the polymer stamps. Um, they stick really good to our glass blocks. Um, the images are almost as good as a real rubber stamp. Not quite as good, but close. And I'm going to stick this under my paper clip with my other little fish tails that I've made like that and just trim it off. Don't trim it till you get it under there so you make sure you've got enough stuff. And I just want to mount that right there and I'm probably going to just use a dimensional since that's what I have handy. Stick that right on what I'm going to call the front which is right here. Okay and there you have it. A new way to use the pumper pumpkin paper kit for the month and make a cute little 4th of July favor box so when you have your 4th of July pool party you'll be able to um, hand these out as people go out the door. Uh, in your stars um, die there's all different sizes of stars. You could add another star here or a star in white or whatever or some more lettering. Um, this is the eye. I'm going to put a little um, rhinestone right there but that's the finished product. Simple as pie. Use that paper pumpkin kit and get inspired. Happy stamping!